All right, folks, gonna go ahead and give a quick update of what's going on here in the house. Uh, getting pretty darn close, so let me go ahead and walk around here and point out everything that has been happening here in the past week. My voice is a little funny because I've been working outside in the weeds. So here we go. So let's go ahead and start from the bedroom. And there's the railing for the loft and the end the loft itself looking pretty cool. All the shikui is complete throughout the house. I'm pretty sure everything is done. I'm not, I haven't seen any unfinished places yet. Uh, as soon as you lift up this paper cardboard on the floors, it will come to life. Yeah, I was noticing how that beam, that, that was an addition to that, uh, that's going into the bathroom, how that's protruding pretty nice, really cool. And again, the loft railing. And then we did ask to have like an uh, entrance point, and I believe it's going to be on this end. Afternoon sunlight just coming in here is so beautiful. Let's see, he has been working on the casita today. Actually, quite a few other people as well too, but he's the main one that's been working on it. Oh, and then they also completed this portion right here. I'm pretty sure that piece is going to be replaced. This is part of the original of the house as well. Really love this uh, Mount Fuji, uh, I guess Shoji. It slides up and down. It's, it's missing another part as well that will be added once it's complete. It's really cool. And then it's the yukimi type uh, where it slides the shoji will slide up and you can sit here and you can kind of look out and see the snow okay so this is the other side of the loft and i'm pretty sure that's where the entrance is going to be quite frankly we just asked him to do it and let him trust him to to do it uh, uh so far we have not had any issues we just kind of give us a general idea and then they do it Later, we're going to make like a little access ladder kind of so, so we can like drop it down and come in that way. So yeah, they have been in installing the toilet as well. Ba -ba -da -ba, there you go. The toilet guy was here just a minute ago too. All the gentlemen were kind of chit-chatting a little bit. And look at all this mechanism, right? Uh, but yeah, those will uh, warm, self-clean, uh, all, all the stuff. And then there'll be this, this shelf right here for your uh, extra toilet paper and whatnot. And also a sink is going to be there. Just waiting to install the sink. And then the laundry room. Really excited about the laundry room. Because once they remove this cardboard that was here, this beautiful wood is, you know, it's just got exposed. And because before it was covered, so I really didn't pay much attention to it. But wow, look at that. And these exposed beams right there with the white shikui. Every single door in the house is going to be a sliding door. So here's an example. So everything is sliding door. As I mentioned before, everything is flat throughout the house. It just to me, it just makes it easier and more practical uh, to, to just kind of maneuver around the house. Here's where the sink area is going to be. Hot and cold water. And then over there in the corner is where the, the stackable washer and dryer is going to be at. Uh, Choco and I have been looking at uh, different apparatuses for hanging clothes in here where you can connect them to the ceiling and you can pull them down. And so that way it's a little more, more kind of more practical in here. And the shower unit, it has been installed since May. I think it's still kind of taped up here. Let me see. Yeah. No, no, it's just open. Yeah, so this one's been installed for a while, but this is a typical Japanese uh, shower unit. Uh, it's kind of like a capsule, self-contained. They're actually pretty neat because, uh, so it has the integrated heater. We can also uh, dry your clothes. So you can kind of hang them in here and they'll dry your clothes. You can turn on the heater and then dry them. This is the uh, shower that we chose. Closet. It's pretty much done as well getting there all the electrical this is where the electrical panel box is going to be and then just going to all these are for little adjustable shelves and this is going to be a hanging rod in there as well the ceiling the same kind of a cedar cedar plank ceiling uh, i guess next week they'll probably be starting the stairs when we were planning 
the design, you know, we realized that this is wasted space, right? So I asked to kind of split it in half, kind of be split in half. And one side is going to be like the shelves and everything for, you know, pictures and whatnot, and a little bench sitting area as well. On this side facing as you enter from the left, this is going to be like a coat hanger or bag hanger and that type of stuff to put your stuff as so again the, the concept is that you come into the house and you just come in and just hang up your stuff right there and these stairs are going to be sanded down to the best of their ability and install a handrail it's typical uh japanese steep so i guess as you come in this uh, this area right here is going to be the kind of open entrance i guess yeah the crew is leaving now a lot of them they all know that I have a YouTube channel and they always, uh, the younger guy that was, uh, that's working the casita, he was telling me that his parents were watching, uh, uh, uh the, the channel and he thought that they was, that was pretty cool. Another thing that we just last minute asked for an addition was this. Well, we did not necessarily ask for this X frame right here. He installed those, uh, to further reinforce the house because that's where right here, there was a, there were, there used to be a, um, hallway right here where I'm at. Last minute we asked them to, well, let's go ahead and make use of this X space right here. So we asked them to add uh, these little shelves right there so that we can, you know, put uh, pictures, flowers, whatever the case may be. One of the senior carpenters was doing that today and he was asking, is that this good? I was like, come picky. That's yeah, uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, kind of unique. And all these these holes from the original because right here there used to be uh or ingawa sliding door um uh, beams right there big massive beams those will be plugged with uh pieces of wood i that's that was kind of intentional I, I told him i don't i don't want you to cover it up or whatever just kind of plug them but kind of keep it exposed i'm cool with that uh, like i said like those those bolts right there the whole and writing from the original construction uh, i told them just keep it uh, this is the fireplace location on the, the july 3rd i think you said is when the fire the fireplace folks are coming to install the fireplace we found a place in the near hiroshima that's the the tile work that we chose we wanted something uh, kind of Spanish style, Mexican style. They kind of that's the closest we could get, but it kind of reminds me of the tile of my in the house that I grew up in 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 Quila, Jalisco, Mexico, uh, and also all these beams and everything too. I guess that's the reason why I really really love this. And actually, let me go ahead and throw out another little rambling story here. The other day I was talking to my mom, and when we moved to Mexico, I was seven years old. We moved into the house that my dad was born in. And the house was vacant for quite a while. So there you go, Mexican Akiya. <laughs> uh, so I was telling my mom, uh, I think I went from Akiya to Akiya. <laughs> and then uh, we have big windows and everything. Uh, the arch windows, kind of Spanish style. The beams that I kind of painted when I was a teenager. But yeah, so I guess in a way, this place kind of <laughs> reminds me. Uh, I would say this is a little bit nicer as far as the 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 accommodations put it that way uh when we moved into that house in mexico there was no running water dirt floors no electricity for for a number of years so here we go the kitchen window the sink and the stove and the island is coming on the 30th of june so next friday so stay tuned for that and the infamous pantry slash kitchen annex this is the location for a refrigerator choco wanted a little bit a, a small refrigerator for her extra baking stuff i guess that has to be refrigerated and there's gonna be shelves open shelves right here so we could put plates and everything yeah so right here is where all the uh rice cooker and stuff like that is going to be and yet again uh, another sliding door uh, they have also been painting the trim and everything and yet again something I was not expecting again maybe lost in translation but pleasantly surprised 
this unit has been installed. Oh, okay, I know what that is. That's for the, the, wire, the water heater. So that is the, the water heater unit right there. There are different options. Uh, you can buy them, you can rent them. We opted to rent it, and it's actually not that much. I can't remember exactly the top of my head, but it's really not that, that bad. I'm pretty sure that bolt is going to be cut off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, let's see, so here we go. Uh, kind of hard for us adults to jump in there. But as mentioned before, this is for the granddaughters. I have a total of four. Two of them live in Japan. Craft room, and they have removed the scaffolding. And they are installing the toilet and the sink in here. Yeah, there's your toilet. Well, again, one of those little fancy pantsy ones that does all that good stuff for you. But <laughs> if you have lived in Japan for a number of years and you become accustomed to those warm toilets and then all of a sudden you go back to the States or somewhere where they don't have them, it's a shock the first time you, <laughs> you use it again. Like, oh, you got to be prepared. You know, like they become accustomed to them. So, yeah. Okay, so like I said, the painter has been here painting all these, these trims right here. And it looks really nice, actually. Uh, before I was debating which color I was going to paint it, was I going to sand it down and everything. And and they just did it so and actually I, I i like it i like the way the dark dark brown pops with the white squee walls i did ask him if he was going to be doing up there and he said no so i did take a picture of the paint that he is using and eventually i'll get up there and then another thing that i see in other houses and i think originally this one had it too they paint these little tips right there white and i think it re looks really cool uh, another thing I need to do later on, it's not part of this project, uh, is to fix these right here. It's a really, really, really thin uh, decorative board. It really doesn't do anything. So uh, if anyone has any ideas what to use, let me know. I was actually thinking about using the same kind of uh, siding, the one that we have up in there inside the house. Uh, to I don't know maybe cut little wood pieces of wood and just kind of put them in there like that and so the casita the casita is coming along too and start calling the casita de Covian also known as the dog house really nice sliding door if you haven't figured out the concept here every single door is sliding even the outside everything is sliding it's big windows friends and guests family they uh have a nice cool place to stay in here but the concept of the casita is going to be the same as the house same shkui uh, the wood floors and all that stuff so yeah he's working on the insulation for the flooring i was joking with him earlier so he said oh so you should be done tomorrow huh <laughs> It's a joke. I like yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, Japanese are not very uh, uh they they kind of miss the especially the Mexican sense of humor. Yeah, so over there is where the uh, toilet and the shower will be. Yeah, the, we got we covered this window right here because no, nah, just too many windows. And they are also installing the electricity uh, in the my little man cave here and in the garage one two three three outlets so a total of six so eventually i need to go ahead and insulate the top here and i'll probably uh, tackle that myself and uh paint the walls and all the stuff i discussed that before i'm gonna kind of make this my little my little hangout man cave place here and probably throw some uh type of army decorations and stuff like that that i don't necessarily want inside the house but still nice to have displayed somewhere all right folks 
this uh how to do it for today thanks for listening to my rambling i'll try to add another update uh throughout the the next week uh several times actually because uh we're getting closer and closer to the end so lots of uh last minute changes uh again so if you like what you see please hit subscribe like share and uh, keep following us along because there's still many projects all right folks have a good day. Thanks. Bye.